Hey everyone, in this workout, we're gonna get comfortable swinging your eighth notes so that you don't sound too much like a robot, and instead you sound cool. If you're new here, then hello, my name is Taylor. I've been teaching guitar for over a decade and currently have about 55 weekly students. I started this channel because I've taught a lot of people who have tried to learn from YouTube, and while they know a lot of things, it doesn't seem like they can play automatically or smoothly. And that's because they usually aren't practicing with metronomes or drum tracks or trying to play along to songs. And even if they do, they usually don't notice when they fall away from playing in time. However, I noticed that when I'm playing along with my students, they instantly click into playing in time. And I think that's just because they can see my arms moving in their peripheral vision. So I figured if beginning guitarists on YouTube just had more play along exercises, they'd probably develop the ability to play in time without thinking about it, you know, just playing mindlessly. So yeah, this channel is kind of like a home yoga or a home workout channel. You just load up some of the videos, play along to them for like 15 or 20 minutes, and if you master all the videos on the channel, then you will definitely have the skills and reflexes you need to play guitar mindlessly. All right, well, let's talk about how to swing your eighth notes. So far, when we've been playing eighth notes, we've been focusing on trying to keep our down and up notes evenly spaced. So it's like one and two and three and four and We normally want the down strokes to land on the click and then the up strokes to land right in the middle of the clicks. And if you're playing metal or classical or funk, something like that, you know, you do want to keep your eighth notes even. But in other styles like jazz, rock, or blues, if you try and play even eighth notes, it's going to sound really stiff and it's not going to fit very well. And that's because those types of music use a swung eighth note, which is uneven, but it sounds really relaxed. So instead of evenly spaced one and two and three and four and one, we delay the ands a little bit and we get this long, short, long, short sound. One and two. The amount you swing or delay that and in your eighth note can depend on the song, but there is a more precise version of the swing called a shuffle in which the first note is exactly twice as long as the second note. We don't need to worry about getting a precise shuffle right now, just try and get those uneven eighth notes and it'll sound good. So in this exercise we're going to do four rounds of different rhythms using our Lil Pentatonic scale. And in each round, we're going to play the rhythm two times so that we end on the note we start on. As we usually do, we'll start at 60 beats per minute and work our way up to 120 beats per minute, and then we'll move on to a different rhythm. Hopefully, after you've mastered a few different rhythms using this swinging idea, you can go to the backing tracks and see if you can implement them and, you know, experiment, see what you come up with. The first rhythm is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to do one and two and three and four. And, and we're doing our little pentatonic. We're going to start on the 5th fret 2nd string, because that's the harmonic center of this scale shape. And we're going to move in this direction. We're going to go down, and then up, and then down. And I mean down and up in pitch. So here's what it sounds like with our drum track at 80 beats per minute. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. This is a good one to start with because of how uniform it is. It's relatively simple looking, which means you hopefully won't have to think about it too much. At this stage of the game, I think it's totally fine to do all of these as down strums if you really want to. You'll see me doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just like strumming, trying to keep that windshield wiper movement. But I plan on doing some deep dives into economy picking when we get into level four and five. So at this point, just worry about your left hand. The second rhythm is gonna be Two sets of eighth notes, then two sets of quarter notes. One and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one. Here's what it sounds like with the drum track. One and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one. That one's nice because it's not too shuffled up. It's got two quarter notes in it, but it's after two sets of eighth notes, so, you know, you get two fast ones, two long ones, two fast ones, two long ones. In the next one, we are going to mix things up a little bit. We got one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four, one. 
Sounds like this with the drum track. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four, one. And then the next rhythm is gonna be kind of the opposite of that last rhythm. We've got one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And here's what it sounds like with the drum track. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And that will be all the rhythms. So we're doing each of those starting at 60 beats per minute and working our way up to 120. All right, let's try out the first rhythm. If you don't have a guitar, then Go grab one, see if you can keep up. Here's rhythm number one, starting at 60 beats per minute. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. 70 beats per minute, ready, go. Here's 80 beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. 90 beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Here's 100 beats per minute. Ready, go. One ten, ready go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. All right, here's one twenty. Let's make this one extra fun. All right, that was fun. Let's go back down to sixty beats per minute, and we'll do the second rhythm. Ready go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four, one. 70 beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four, one. 80 beats per minute. One and two. Ninety beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One. Here's one hundred. Ready, go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One. Here's one ten. Ready, go. Here's 120. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go back down to 60 beats per minute and do the third rhythm. Ready, go. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four, one. 70 beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. 80 beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four, one. 90 beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two. One hundred beats per minute. Ready, go. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One. One ten. Ready, go. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One. One twenty.
All right, just one more round, doing the last rhythm. Ready, go. Here's 70 beats per minute. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. 80 beats per minute. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. 90 beats per minute. Ready, go. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. One, ten. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. All right, last one. Here's one twenty. Ready, go. And you're done. That wasn't so bad. Now that you can swing those eighth notes, you should feel comfy on pretty much any backing track you find, whether it's a funk one or a blues one. And if you want to try out your newly developed swinging skills on a backing track, but you're not sure where to look, then try this one out. It's got a swing to it. And if you like this channel, and you like me, and you want to see more of this channel and more of me, but specifically more of this channel, then make sure you click some of these buttons. There's some buttons down here. There's this button, there's this button, and there's this button again. Maybe try and click them, see what happens. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye.